Have you ever heard those sayings from maybe your grandparents? Like, if March comes in like a lamb, it's going to go out like a lion? Today's March 1st. It's almost 7 o'clock at night. It's 68 degrees. And we're outside playing with the water table. As if it's practically spring. So, we're going to keep an eye on it and see what happens at the end of March. Have you heard any other sayings that ring true? April showers bring May flowers, perhaps? Something along those lines? Let me know down below. So what does that mean if March is coming in like a lamb and going out like a lion? I have not looked at any weather reports. I am not a scientist. But what I'm going to predict is that since March is coming in so nice and warm and beautiful, that we are going to get either an ice storm at the end of March or some really cold temperatures. So just keep an eye out, see what happens. Sometimes the wives tales are true and sometimes they're just fun. So we'll see what happens, but that's gonna be my prediction. I need to get my asparagus separated and potted up because it is growing like crazy under the grow light. Asparagus is one of those plants that when I learned how it grows in the ground, I was shocked. This is my first year growing asparagus, so I'm really excited. So first I'm gonna get some of these pots filled up and ready to go, and then we will separate the asparagus out and get them put in pots. That saying can also go the opposite way. If March comes in like a lion, and March is terrible to begin with, then we can expect March to go out like a lamb and be calm and warm and beautiful. So. I'm gonna show you my asparagus here and then we're gonna separate them and get them put in pots. I got about 50 pots put up. I put a lot of seeds in this little pot. So we're gonna separate this out and give them some room to grow. Asparagus is one of those plants that when I saw how it grows out of the ground, like the spears grow out of the ground and that's what you cut off and eat, I was kind of shocked. This is Mary Washington asparagus and there are a little over 50 asparagus plants in here. So what we're gonna do is I have all of my pots ready to go because you don't want your roots to be exposed to the air for too long and sit out and get dried out. We want to be able to pot them up quickly. I ran out of containers, so I'm kind of uh, using what I got. So we're going to cup the plants very gently and kind of do a squeezing, patting kind of motion to get the whole thing to come out. As one. And then I'm gonna lay this down right here. And I am going to very gently try to work this apart without destroying the roots. Kind of wiggle it a little bit and help it along. And there we go. Got our nice long root and then just gonna stick one of these in each of these pots and pat it in. Now I have 52 asparagus potted up, enough for my garden and enough to share. I've gotta go wash my hands. I'm thinking about doing a plant sale this spring. I did plant a bunch of extra stuff with the intention of doing like seed swaps and plant sales and stuff. I am gonna be going to a seed swap, plant swap in 
green wood next week. But I've been thinking about doing like a plant sale for all the extra stuff that I have started. So we'll see. I'll let you know. It might be fun. I'm actually kind of amazed I got this done before the kids woke up this morning. So asparagus is a long game plant. Uh, I will not be able to harvest off of these until about year three. But it is one of those plants that once you plant it, you shouldn't have to plant it again. It's gonna come back every year and give you a harvest when it starts getting to the point that you can harvest it and spreading on its own that you shouldn't have to replant it. So in that way, it's a really economical plant once it gets to the point of being able to be um, harvested from. My plan for these asparagus is I'm going to put some out where my berry patch is because these are so low maintenance and I won't need to be keeping a constant eye on them or harvesting on them every day like I do with the tomatoes in the summer. I'm going to put them farther out from the house so that I can keep the area closer to the house for the plants that need more daily attention. So hopefully this was fun and you enjoyed getting to see some asparagus potted up. Let me know if you have ever done asparagus. And I'd also love to know if you know of any other wives tales like the red sky at night, sailors delight, red sky in morning, sailors take warning. So um, those can be helpful in gardening or they can just be fun. So let me know. It was fun hanging out with you today and I will see you next time.